still quite murky at the moment as far as exactly what happened. What we know, residents there as well as two defense ministry officials telling us that in the last half an hour in Sana'a, the capital of Yemen, there was a huge explosion that shook the Ministry of Defense compound. Many people we've spoken with believe that this emanated from within the Ministry of Defense itself, the main building there on the headquarters of the Ministry of Defense compound. Um, there is suspicion that there might be numerous casualties. Local media in Yemen believe that casualties have happened. We have not gotten any official numbers from the government at this point. This is very worrying for Yemen because Yemen is at a very fragile time right now. There is a national dialogue conference going on. Uh, the country is trying to push ahead with creating a new constitution, trying to get elections, also continuing to battle its problem because of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. That's the most dangerous wing of the al-Qaeda network. Their hub is in Yemen, and from within Yemen, they've been able to launch spectacular attacks across the region and other countries across the world. Uh, it is the most dangerous uh, thing of the al-Qaeda network. It is a huge problem for Yemenis, for the government there. There have been many assassinations of top Yemeni officials and of foreigners carried out by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. And because of the political instability in that country, that seems to have continually strengthened AQAP and made that group even more resurgent. We're going to have to see what details emerge in the next few hours. But the fact that this could happen uh, on, a, uh, on a compound, which is such a secure fortress uh, uh, that is really perpetually on lockdown, that is what's causing so much concern at this hour. John? Yeah, I was wondering about that, Mohammed, because it's, what, 10 a.m. in the morning now, just after 10 a.m. Uh, in the capital of Sana'a. This happened around 9.30 on a Thursday morning, and there are reports of casualties. So you've been to Yemen. You've spent a lot of time in the capital there in Sana'a. Uh, the location of the Defense Ministry, is, is it a busy part of town? Would there have been a lot of pedestrians around at the time? Would they have been exposed uh, to this explosion in any way? Uh, probably not too many pedestrians in that area uh, because it is an area that is always, uh, as I said, uh, seemingly under lockdown. There is a lot of security around the Ministry of Defense. Uh, they don't let a lot of passers by in that area. They don't let a lot of people linger there because they are always concerned that they could come under attack. But they're usually able to avert those attacks. There have been times in the last couple of years when AQAP has been able to launch attacks on buses full of military cadets, on a military parade at one point last year, when they have really been able to get into areas that are seemingly very secure uh, and they've been able to launch attacks, uh, but not usually within the grounds of the Ministry of Defense itself. We know that they have attempted on many occasions uh, to, to get into those areas, that there have been failed attempts, but if, if this was AQAP, and I should add, there has been no claim of responsibility, even though some of the officials I'm speaking with believe that this probably will end up being AQAP. We should add uh, that they have not yet ever been able to get onto the compound of the Ministry of Defense and launch some kind of an attack from within there. We should also say, John, that you know because Yemen is an unstable place and because the military there is very fractured, there are often times where there have been uh, there have been squabbles, skirmishes, clashes between different factions of the military. And when there is political instability there, because Yemen is a very tribal country, and because the military there hews to their tribal alliances, there are times when there are clashes that erupt in the streets of even the capital of Yemen between different factions of the military loyal to the leaders uh, who have been within the military structure there for decades. So very unclear at this hour, but again, very worrying. And at a time in Yemen when the country is really trying to forge ahead with a tenuous peace and a plan for more political security uh, in the future.